good morning. This is Bill from out of Europa, Naples, and I'm here today with this fantastic 2008 BMW 328i convertible. Pardon my camera shaking here while I'm getting my glasses in my pocket. Forgot to take them off. Uh, you can see it's finished in platinum bronze metallic. Beautiful, beautiful color. Uh, it's got a natural beige leather inside. Uh, it is, of course, a folding hardtop convertible. Uh, has very low miles as well, this car, in the 50s, and has been extremely well maintained. Uh, and you can see, of course, being a BMW 3 Series, the styling is terrific. Very crisp, sharp, beautiful, and uh, everything absolutely lovely. So let's start inside the trunk. Now the reason I'm starting with the top up is so you can actually get into and see the trunk. You'll see the difference here. So you've got this big partition. You can lift this guy up and push it forward. It must be Friday if I've got donuts for the guys. Uh, anyway, point being, uh, with that partition up now, the top will not operate, but you do have a giant amount of cargo room, which is very useful in a four-seat convertible. Uh, you can put golf uh, clubs across there lengthwise. You can fit stuff all the way forward there. There is a pass-through as well, so you know, your ski poles or lawn trimmers or, you know, whatever you need to take with you, you can stuff uh, in the back and run through into the back seat. Uh, there's also a great little cargo area in the back seat, so we'll get into that in a minute. But uh, if you want to run the top, you got to put this guy back down. So you can put your cargo under there, and if that uh, partition comes back down on top of it, then you're in great shape. So let's get this back down. Grab my keys here. Very nice, you can see we've got uh, two sets, lovely. And I'm gonna press and hold the unlock button. Right, let's try that with the different key. Okay, so you see the windows start to come down. Uh, the top folds into this graceful uh, machinery ballet, absolutely lovely. Up comes the trunk from the reverse position and down goes the folding hardtop. What an attractive mechanism. Rests very neatly into place. Down goes the back, all the whirring stops, and you're good to go. Uh, unfortunately, I kept my finger on the button too long and the windows start coming back. There's a complaint that I have about German cars. It really drives me up the wall. When you run the convertible top down and you keep your hand on the button, very often it'll run all four windows back up. And the, the pause they give you between top down and windows up is uh, you know so small that a mere American can't figure it out. So uh, you end up with the windows in the semi or in the up position. And I mean, who the hell wants that in a convertible? The whole point of getting the top down is to let the air in. All of a sudden you got four windows up, just obnoxious. Okay, anyway, uh, now we've got the top down and you can see the cargo is hard to reach. I'm gonna smush those donuts if I get them out, uh, but it is in there, but you do have this little access point like uh, you know what the medieval people used to fire arrows through so if you can get your stuff out of there good on you uh, otherwise you got to be careful uh, and not have your cargo get locked in there but you know you can't have your cake and eat it too so uh, if you need cargo room it's got it and uh, if you need the top down it's got it too but uh, sometimes you got to choose between the two let's see if i press and hold unlock if the windows go back down and they do very nice okay here in the back seat Let's get this open. You can see everything is finished really beautifully. Uh, you got speakers there in the side panels, nice stuff. Beautiful, beautiful uh, Dakota leather in this car. Absolutely lovely leather. And here's a great little feature. You can put that down, and now you've got this whole new area for cargo and stuff. Uh, you can see the pass through there from the back if you need to, uh, you know, I suppose you could do that. So top down golf clubs in here, poking through the back, that might work. So maybe you can have your cake and eat it too. Uh, your little shopping bags can hang from these things so they don't go rolling all around the back seat. Really nice feature. And uh, everything just absolutely lovely back there. You also have this great little cup holder thing and a little rolly thing here for stuff. Another uh, ashtray that's obviously never been used. And some vents there for the rear passengers surrounded in beautiful burl wood. Uh, on the seat, they give you this great little thing. So if you're in the back seat and you're a malicious little jerk of a kid, you can put your hand around there, poke that forward, and send the driver or passenger right into the steering wheel, hopefully causing a dangerous situation. So uh, very nice stuff from BMW there. 
Let's have a look under the hood when we get back inside. So under here, we're gonna find an inline six cylinder and nobody builds inline six cylinders better than BMW. Uh, this is a three liter, about 230 horse, silky smooth, tons of pep, very, very nice torque curve. <clears throat> Just pulls smooth all the way through the gears. Got a six speed automatic gearbox. Uh, you know, there's nothing you're not going to like about the sweet engine in this car. Automotive journalists have been raving about uh, BMW inline sixes for decades with good reason. They're just terrific, terrific engines. Uh, on this low mileage Florida car, everything mint under here, nice, no corrosion. Uh, exactly what you want to see. All right, so there's the BMW Rondell. There's some debate over, you know, is that a spinning propeller or, you know, what's going on with that? Uh, from my understanding now, that is just a reference to the Bavarian flag and has nothing to do whatsoever with airplanes, which is kind of a shame. If I'm BMW, I'm probably going to uh, lie about that and say it was all about the airplanes. It really worked for Saab. Oh, that's a joke. <laughs> all right, let's see if our parking light's on. If we get our halos up, and we do, uh, that is uh, another little bit of a BMW trademark. Very, very cool. Uh, those uh, glowing halos around the headlight assemblies. Uh, just, just neat stuff from BMW on that. And the kidney grills, classic. Very, very lovely. These guys here are headlight washers. So uh, if you're barreling through the desert and your headlights get clogged up, you push the little button, uh, out comes an assembly there and squirts the headlights with water. Uh, you can also see really nice five-star alloy wheels with uh, BF Goodrich tires, or sorry, Bridgestone tires in great shape. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but under here, uh, oh, it's not lit up now. There's illumination, cool little LED lights. So in the, uh, uh, listen to that warning buzzer. It's for the headlights. Have a look at that beautiful, rich, black and natural beige leather setup. What a gorgeous car this is inside. Uh, also carries over to the door panels, beautiful leather inserts, all your power windows, mirrors, more speakers. Uh, down here, you've got your power seat adjustments with memory, nice stuff. And uh, very, very little wear on these seats at all. Uh, just absolutely beautifully kept car, so. I think this also has comfort access, so we can probably unlock it, yeah, just by kind of tapping that little ridged part on top of the handle, open it up by giving the handle a pull. Got more speakers up there. This thing's got speakers everywhere. All right, so to fire it up, I'm going to put my foot on the brake, tap the start-stop, fires right to life. Of course, it gives you this ridiculous warning buzzer for him. Relax! I'm putting my damn seatbelt on. Jeez Louise. Give a guy two minutes. All right. Seatbelt on. Over here we've got automatic headlights. Nice. Your fogs. Beautiful sporty leather steering wheel. Little grippies at the 10 and 2. Uh, Multi-function control for uh, Bluetooth and stereo and cruise control. Lovely nickel trim within the wheel. Three-spoke design. Nice stuff. All your hieroglyphics there in great shape. Uh, your cruise control down there. Uh, BC goes through. What does that do? Yeah, different uh, choices there. There's your range, uh, your uh, um, average mile per gallon, average speed, that sort of thing. Or you just leave it off. Uh, very nice classic BMW gauges. Uh, you can see nice, uh, nicely trimmed, uh, simple, easy to read. Orange backlighting, lovely stuff, classic BMW. Uh, up here, you've got a very nice self dimming mirror. It's got the premium package, so you've got a compass in there. You've got your home link uh, set up, very, very nice. Uh, down here, BMWs don't use it unless you're a professional uh, stereo system. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, your tuner, CD, auxiliary stuff. Over here, your Bluetooth trip computer, uh, BMW Assist, all very nice. Also in Dash CD. Uh, you got a cup holder over here, ridiculously over-engineered, but still working. Kind of a miracle there. Same on that side. And then a very nice traditional American-style cup holder here that'll never break. Uh, you also have a very proper glove box. And uh, there's a nice set of books down there with the car. Uh, down here is your climate control. Uh, set it where you want it. You got both sides. Uh, you got heated seats down here. Lovely. And uh, everything proper there. Also an ashtray, 
Genuine honest to god ashtray, the Germans are smoking later than everyone else. I guess the Chinese are getting into cars too, so they'll probably keep ashtrays going. Uh, anyway, never been used, nice, works great, beautiful burl wood, lovely shifter here with the nickel. Uh, if you go over to the left, you can hammer your way through the gears like a ratchet. If you want to be bothered with that, that's up to you. Uh, also, of course, your cup holder. Here's your uh, top switch from inside. In here, you've got an auxiliary. Nice 12-volt outlet. I don't know that's another little cup holder. Place to put your phone. Yeah, whatever you want. Nice stuff. All right, so I don't think I've missed anything. Let's go for a spin. And driving is, of course, the essence of a BMW 3 Series. It's why the automotive press has loved on these cars for so long, is because they drive fantastic. Uh, you can see very, very nice pep from that inline six. Incredible balanced feel to the suspensions, of course. Well, you see, there's 3 Series everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Uh, you know, because they're just terrific cars. Uh, and there's Mustangs too, but a lot of 3 Series. Anyway, nice pep from the 6, beautiful shifting from the automatic, incredible steering feel. Uh, you're absolutely glued to the pavement. It feels so well poised. See our giraffes, what are they up to? I swear to God, they move a couple inches every day. Nice gardening too. Uh, anyway, goes down the road really well. No vibration from the wheel, no run out from the brakes, nice smooth stopping. Uh, sorry for the wind noise here, but it's nice having the top down. And uh, everything's good in the world with this fantastic 3 Series folding hardtop convertible. So again, 2008 BMW 328i, just 56,000 miles on the clock, beautiful color combo. Uh, everything really, really proper with this car. Come and get it. It's an absolute bargain at the money they sell for. So 239-649-7300 on the web at mercedesexpert.com. Thanks so much for having a look. We really appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.